Right, we got ourselves a tamarind sauce from a company straight out of Salem in Oregon, USA, called Hoss Sauce. Let's give it a go. Hoss Sauce, they only make three sauces, one, two, and three. Um, we're gonna look at the, the tamarind today. Uh, so Matt and Catherine are uh, relatively new to the scene in the grand scheme of things. We met them uh, in Albuquerque, Albuquerque in uh, March 2019. He's a, a chef, isn't he? He is, yeah. yeah. So I had the pleasure of having lunch with them not long ago and learned a little bit more about them. And uh, so they make three sauces. Uh, they don't go crazy on heat. And no. I have really royally screwed this. Uh, the ingredients are on your screen right now. And as you can see, it's, it's pretty straightforward actually, isn't it? So tamari, if you're not familiar with tamari, it's kind of like a type of soy sauce, isn't it? So there we go, ta-da, done it. Um, so it's mm -hmm. like a type of soy sauce. So I'm guessing with like tamarind and agave, and uh, it's gonna have a kind of Asian-y yeah. feel maybe, uh, I, I don't know, we'll, we'll find out. But um, tamarind's a great ingredient for hot sauce. and. Just wondering what the the chili is. Does it say? It just says spices. Right. So, where's your spoon, dude? Let's rock on. Oh, look at that. Silky as you like. Nice sheen to it. It's almost got like a slight peanut smell to it. Yeah, no, that'd be the soil. Uh, I'm sorry, that it says me, or, or I'm assuming that it says me oil. Is it says me oil in there? Yeah. Me... Sesame oil, yeah, there you go. So that's that, that's what you're getting from that sesame oil. But it kind of separates out a little bit so you can see the oil and the, uh, the kind of substance of the tamarind sauce itself. Smells super. Yeah, really smells super. Slow smell. Right, should we, uh, should we give it a go? Yeah. Considering like, when it was on the spoon, you could see that there was sort of oil in it. It's a little, it really feels quite quite thick. Get on. Get on. How good is that? Do you like that? Yeah, that's no, really, really nice. Dude. So, the sesame oil is it's prominent, but it's not overwhelming. The, the spice, just at the back of the throat, um, beautifully balanced. And that kind of agave and tamarind are just working harmoniously. There's a real like equilibrium between the two, where that agave is offering up the sweetness, which just balances everything out. It's not overly sweet, but it is sort of it has that hint of sweetness, isn't it? And that tamarind, that kind of like bitter, like like burnt caramel sort of. But it's not uh, overpowering the sort of tamarind, uh -huh. even though it's a top ingredient. You do get some other tamarind products, and that's all you get is the real bit bitterness from this tamarind, and it's almost uh, small as a product. But, but this is absolutely fantastic. It's, get on. It's well balanced. Get on. That's knockout. Um, that's got well, it's got gamey meats written yeah. all over for me. So I want that with duck, frankly. Um, my duck wraps, that kind of thing. That that's just made for it. That's going to work in your stir fry. An absolute yeah. treat, isn't it? I, I, he, he, even oh, enough, more. He, I would even use it like a tiny bit if, if you're doing a almost like a egg fried rice, just to give yeah. it a lovely flavour. Get on. That's I'm um, gonna have more. I mean, no apologies for that either. That's just knockout. You want a little more? Really yeah, on. absolutely. That's so clever. Lovely, um, very silky, great mouthfeel to it. Very sort of um, unctuous sort of feel. Yeah. Goodness me. Uh, it's well balanced. That's one of the more impressive sauces we've yeah. tried in a while, I think, that. That is that is incredible. So, to, to the guys at Hoss Sauce, freaking well done. Um... Heat wise, it is not it is not over the top. It's not that high, uh, not a bad thing, because that makes it a very usable sauce. Yeah. And that's gonna dial back even more, I think, when you start to use it with food. Um, we try and rate our sauces out of 10 when it comes to heat, one being pretty poor and 10 being, you know, whoa, that's too hot. Um, four? Uh, yeah, th three, three or four, half. yeah. Well, so, what's quite interesting is, is it actually safe to use it as, 
uh, say to use it as a spicy ice cream to, uh, topping. Yeah, no, that's not a bad chow, actually. That's not a bad chow. I wouldn't necessarily consider it a sweet sauce. No. But you could certainly get away with, with using it like that. Yeah, I know. Like sesame ice cream. Especially if you yeah, we've had something like a, like a real, like, Asian influence or ice cream, mm -hmm. like a, something like jasmine or something. Yeah, or a good nutty ice cream, like a hazelnut ice cream or something. Yeah. Even a praline, I think you'd probably get away with it. So, uh, or praline, I'm not going to pronounce it. Um, yeah, you get away with that. That's that's banging. Uh, link is on your screen uh, if you want to try it. That for me, um, we don't do this too often. For me, that's a must buy. It is. That's an absolute must buy. I think you've got to try that in your life. Uh, that's. Uh, <laughs> I can't fault it. Question as we always say, would you buy it? Yes. My God, I I could not see myself without that. That's really, really very good. Um we we got two more to try at some point as well. <laughs> so but that is absolutely banging. So really clever, really nice. Um it is a is a sauce, it's a hot sauce, I suppose, but um what it actually is is just an absolute delight in a bottle that um yeah really really can't can't say enough good things about it at this moment in time so and i'm enjoying the kind of the the after flavors that are just bouncing around yeah. and yeah it, it's just silky and lovely and the, the the balance of the oil is just right as well so yeah if you want to try it then uh, feel free to follow the link on screen or in the video description below uh, i'm sure these guys would love to hear from you um yeah absolutely top marks top marks that's Brilliantly, brilliantly done. So well done to Hoss Sauce and, and Long May you continue doing things like that. So uh, cool. All right. Well, simple as that. If you want to give it a go, you know where to go. And uh, hopefully we'll see you somewhere on the next video. Please feel free to share this video or any of our others. Um, subscribe or uh, uh, press the button. Press the bell. the bell button. And we will hopefully see you on the next video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.